Taurus? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. I'm so happy to have all you Tauruses here with me today. Poppers already. Uh, so we're gonna do a fun little spread for you all about career and finances. As always, please keep in mind these general YouTube readings are not always going to resonate with all the viewers out there. Only take away messages for your best and highest good please, and you will know intuitively what those are, okay? So everything you need to know about this reading will be in the description box below, uh, including the decks I'm using, my social media channels, etc. Um, feel free to check Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs if you want more clarity on these messages, if you want additional messages. Other than that, let's hop in. Let's see what we can get for Taurus for finances and career messages for their best and highest good. This is non-date specific, so whenever you uh, view this reading is when you are meant to view it. And thank you so much for joining me. I'm happy to have you guys. So, hit those two. Throw some clarifiers on here. <clears throat> For Taurus in money, career, and finances, messages for their best and highest good. One more. That one. Oh, those two. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's hop in for you. <clears throat> so, coming up in your past, you have the Knight of Cups. Interesting. So, this is a Piscean card. It's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, nights bring movement in and out of our lives, and this is movements involving love um, or something that you have great love for. Um, this, for some of you, this is a job offer, somebody wanting to like bring you into their company or recruit you. Um, this is also you potentially putting out resumes to, to companies that you are very passionate about. Um, or even, uh, this is coming through for some of you, it's like if you work in a job where you're reaching out to clientele, customers, making like sales calls, it's really putting in a tremendous effort. It's putting your hard work and ultimately your love into whatever it is. And so if you are working in a job where you don't necessarily love what you're doing, you see uh, it as a means to an end of getting to the next step of, of achieving something within your, within your desires, within your goals, movement forward essentially in your past. And for a lot of you having to do with love, um, and potentially creativity cups can be, uh, both creativity, uh, inspiration and sometimes spiritual too so some of you may have had especially if you're watching tarot a a recent um, movement in terms of your spirituality that's a weird way of phrasing it but um, something has changed your mind or I want to say open your mind up to new potentials of investing your time in uh, your mind your body your spirit your emotional health as well as your spiritual health uh, being clarified, yeah, wow, by the Queen of Cups. Uh, Cancerian energy, Capricorn just had this come up as well. Uh, this is like the mother of love, if you will. Some of you may have a Cancer or a Pisces in your life. Um, I, for a lot of you, this is you offering a cup to a, a cup, sorry, a, a application, a resume, an offering, recruiting someone who is the holder of this cup, who is the holder of this love, but again, in, in terms of career, it's something you want to be a part of. It's something you're literally offering your cup to the queen, okay? So for a lot of you, it's some sort of higher up, some sort of employer. Um, this could even be you just offering a message. Maybe you you take that scary step to, to knock on your boss's door and be like, hey, can I sit down with you and talk about like my career path for a few minutes? It, it's something like a greater step towards uh, like a higher level or a higher position. And again, it could even be in, in spirituality and spiritual growth or creative endeavors of some kind. <clears throat> this, for some of you, this is also paying a, your, potentially your mother or a parent back if they lend it or uh, gave you a loan either to, I don't know, if they gave you a loan to invest in your career or even, I don't know, like going back to school, like college courses, you're, you're giving the love back, you're, or if it's not financial giving the love back, you're paying back via favors. Like, I'll, I don't know, this is a stupid example, but like, okay, I'll, I'll mow your lawn this weekend, mom. Like, it's something like that. It doesn't have to be your mom, but generally maternal energy, grandmother, aunt, uh, could, could be masculine as well, but uh, <clears throat> someone who also is probably quite artistic. Um, but extremely nurturing. So that's coming up in your past, Taurus. Very, very cool. I kind of like that. Uh, so in your present energy, ooh, Ace of Pentacles. I love it. So a new beginning, a new 
um, the beginning or the start of a new building towards something. It's I always say pentacles are sort of the brick or the bricks rather in, in the path we're laying out to move forward, right? It's a seed that potentially grows into a mighty oak tree, right? So very cool to have in, in a career spread, um, particularly because monies do, I'm sorry, pentacles do stand for money typically in tarot. It can be your health, your home, your career, but it, it can be funds as well. So maybe new funds are coming in, maybe by having this conversation with somebody in the past, putting out your resume, if they are not extending you a job, and for some of you it might be, you'll know if this is your, your story or not, gaining that new token, that new pentacle, it may also be receiving very wise wisdom or, I don't know, it's not words of encouragement, it's something tangible that you can take and do something with. So maybe you're being put on a new project. Um, <clears throat> maybe they offer you, or maybe they say, listen, I have no open positions right now, but if, if you meet with this guy over here, this might be a good role for you to try out and maybe in the future we can talk. It's something like that. It's a tangible, like, okay, I'll take this and run with it. Being clarified by the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I'll take this and run with it very quickly. The fastest knight in the deck, Gemini energy. And of course, this is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth signs. Something of the Earth that can grow into something greater. But uh, because it's being clarified by the speedy knight, um, you have two knights. So two cards of forward movement. That's really excellent, Taurus. Um, this is indicating that this tangible idea, don't sit on it. There's something about a... There may be an expiration date to how long this is. It's not how long it's going to last. It's how long you have for the turnaround time to go after it. So if, again, if somebody gave you a token of advice or whatever, there's like spirit here is indicating with the Knight of Swords, go. Like, like they just shot off the, the gun in the air. It's like, go, Taurus. Um, and that sort of makes sense. Earth signs in general do approach things in a more slow and steady wins the race like let's be very practical and analyze the details and something about this it's like it's money in the hand somebody just handed you something so don't sit there looking at it and going do i like it is it this, something about it it's like try it go just get, give it a chance it's going to take you somewhere else potentially in a new direction that you weren't even considering when this was first handed to you yeah it's it's like somebody blew the whistle and it's like and go like now's the time like you've been thrown into the game so you, yeah it's like you got to take the ball and run with it down you know down down the football field or however you want to say it so your challenger focus had a ton of cards come out so the grounds of it is the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in so <coughs> i'm so sorry excuse me the idea that if you make a little bit of progress in in this career field, in this arena, if a little bit of funds come in, you're waiting to see the results of something bigger. You're questioning if you're going down the right path. With the Two of Wands, I would say you've made... Sorry, Taurus, my camera froze. So with this card, I was saying the, the Two of Wands, you've chosen the path. With the Three of Wands, you're waiting for confirmation that you're on the right path. You're waiting for signs that, you know, your ships are going to come in. Then ultimately, you go to the Four of Wands, which is the solid, steady foundations, but upward growth, right? Um, so with this, your challenger focus to me is indicating that you want fast turnaround time. <coughs> and I think it has to do with the idea that essentially this token that was handed to you, you were told to act fast, go fast. So just because you need to act on it quickly, what this is indicating is it doesn't mean the results of your hard work, of your efforts, um, the fruits of your labor are not going to come like this. You're, there is going to be a waiting period, but it's saying keep working your magic. Keep putting your, your wand out and, and manifesting and creating, um, like almost throwing ideas at the wall until something sticks. Keep, especially if you do some sort of artistic thing where uh, like you're in a conference room pitching creative ideas and you're whiteboarding, it's like keep, reg <laughs> this is a weird uh, analogy, keep re regurgitating all that like creative energy or those ideas that you have because like something good will come of it, even though you may feel a little bit stuck, like you're not gaining progress, you're waiting, waiting for the ships to come in, waiting for the money, waiting for the promotion, waiting for the new title. Be patient, Taurus. That's what this is saying. Move on the, the opportunity fast, but don't get, don't get disappointed when things aren't moving as fast as you are, okay? Um, and that, that could also be too if you're gung-ho on something, but ultimately you work in a team where your counterparts are also affecting the productivity. 
ultimately your challenge is, is going to be still working with those people who may work a little bit slower than you like. Yeah. Um, being, feeling disappointed or complacent or just bored, it's boredom, I think, for you. Again, you're, you're waiting for, for the return, um, and it's coming. See how the universe is presenting you with this cup, but you just haven't seen it yet because you're still in this three mode, right? This three of wands mode. You have three cups in front of you that they're okay, but you're just not into them anymore. This fourth one is coming. That's stability, that potentially the flow of money with cups, right? The flow of water funds, more money coming in. Page of Wands, keep the keep exercising those creative demons from inside you. It's not demons, but getting it up and out, regurgitating those ideas, whiteboarding. If you're if, if you're a writer, it's like writing it all down, then going back and edit and like take parts out, rework different pieces. Um, <clears throat> but with with the Page of Wands, it's a creative endeavor that if you're if it's not creative, you're at least inspired to do it. You're motivated to go down that road to seek. Seek ultimately greater lands, but more opportunities, more potential. You, it's like you're holding your wand and I'm just getting like, there's something about, it, it's this pentacle too. It's the same thing. Whatever you're holding on to, it's like vibrating. You're vibrating high, Taurus, but what you're sitting on is like, please don't take this literally, but it's like a million dollar idea. You sense something about it. You, it's like it's ready to, to just to grow, to blossom you sense it. It's like the earth is shaking and there's going to be something that, that comes out and it's going to be beautiful and lush and potentially quite abundant. Um, but again, patience. Lastly, being clarified by the eight of cups. Okay. This, you're, because this is your challenge or focus, you are going to be tempted to walk away from this, to think that there's something better right around the corner because this isn't, uh, because it's not coming in for you the way you thought it would or again, as it has to do with speed for most of you at the speed you want it to. Um, and so the traditional idea of this card is movement, is movement on, um, and it's a card of risk taking, um, of going after your wish fulfillment. But here's what I'm getting here for specifically for you, Taurus. It's not time to move away from this yet. There's again, there's something that's going to be earth shattering. It just hasn't popped up from the ground yet. It's, it's like, again, you're sitting on this really great idea. Keep doing the work. Keep reworking it in different ways to try, you know, to try all outcomes, to try all scenarios, throwing stuff at the wall, hoping it sticks. Don't move on thinking that there's something better just yet because the, I'm just getting this idea. It's going to take time and it, it deserves your full attention. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on something big. It's not time to move on yet and cut your losses because there's more to be had here. So the help available to you or potential guidance, the hangman. I can't make this up. Absolutely. Hold on. Like see things from a different perspective, right? When you're upside down, the world looks a little bit differently. This can be a frustrating energy when you're in that mode of go, go, go. Like this is very slow. Sometimes it feels stagnant but it, it ultimately comes right before transformation. This is the hangman, right? Piscean energy. You had a couple cards of Pisces here, Taurus. Um, again, seeing things from a new perspective, maybe this is a card of sacrifice too. Sometimes it has to do with sacrificing. For you, I think it has to do with <clears throat> feeling like you're moving at a, a pace that is steady for you. This, this endeavor, this cast is involves some lull time and it's time for things to, to settle in to, <clears throat> it's, it, I'm just getting, it's like watering a seed. When you water a seed, it doesn't spring into a flower the next day. You have to put your focus and hard work and efforts into it. And then when it's good and ready, it will transform, right? The hangman goes into the death card. Death is transformation. The cocoon to the butterfly, right? <clears throat> So the help available to you is just accept the fact that you're, it's not time to move on while you may have little bouts of frustration come up, like release control of trying to, I don't, of trying to almost play puppet master of, well, this needs to go here and then that's going to happen. Like ultimately it's up to the universe. So enjoy the lull times, even though you may feel a little bit frustrated, know in advance that that's going to happen in this endeavor. Um, so make the best out of it. Um, release control, leave it up to the universe, but ultimately do what's in your power to do the work. <clears throat> the, 
because <clears throat> with hangman mode, it's like the answers are surrounding you. The way you're, he's upside down to see things differently. If you're struggling with what path to take or which way to, to go with the business or who to bring onto your team, the answers are right around you. You just have to open your eyes and see it. It's being clarified by the King of Pentacles. So a great card to have, Taurus, right? It's your card. It's the King of Money. In a finances and career spread, you want this guy on your team. You want him showing up at a spread. What this is saying to me is that there is, um, there is a lot of avenues or potential for financial success, financial abundance. And again, it's, it's right around you. It's in your surrounding networks and circles of, of people or other, other jobs. Um, <clears throat> this is someone who's, for a lot of you, this isn't gonna be for everyone, this is someone who is going to be quite helpful to you, Taurus. Um, and because you're, you're putting in all your efforts into this project, you know, with zest, with speed, with excitement, they just haven't noticed yet. This could stand for your boss. The way these cards look to me, it's like he's on his throne, right? He's comfortable. He's assessing the, the area. He's looking over his kingdom. He hasn't noticed you in hangman mode yet. Because, because Taurus, you haven't transformed into the butterfly yet. You're still in this like chrysalis cocoon stage of working through the process, the, the data, the analytics, the um, creative options, whatever. It's like you're still kind of nurturing the seed into what it's going to be. It's either once you start to transform or once a major change happens, it's going to catch this person's attention and they're either going to invest money in you or like bring you in for an interview or like there's there's something to be had with with these two people Taurus and I, I'm pretty sure this is you coming up in the spread um, this could also represent the idea of many people a kingdom of people who sit on money right they sit on their thrones and they're it's like they're just waiting to throw it at you but make sure your idea is good and solid and that you have a very clear idea and clear concept of what you're going after Taurus because otherwise people aren't gonna waste their time and their money and their efforts with you. Um, yeah, again, I don't mean this literally for most of you, this billion dollar idea that you sit on, and I hope it is for a lot of you, but what I mean is like a, a very rich idea that could and has a lot of potential. People are not going to, to invest their time and their money in that until you've decided to do that, Taurus. For some of you, because it's like the waiting for your ships to come in, you're, questioning something or you're not confident about what you're moving forward to do so this is like saying get all your ducks in a row if this is something that your heart is is being called to do you feel passion you feel motivated you feel desire to chase after this then then don't just sit there under a tree right make changes to go after it to bring that sorry to bring that success into you so that other people around you will start noticing and doing the same right they're gonna follow your lead Taurus essentially the king of money, right? Very cool spread. Um, it's very, it's very optimistic and hopeful. There's something about going fast and then knowing that the process is going to slow down. It's going to taper off. But anyway, Taurus, let me know if that resonated. Resonated. Please do like, share, subscribe. I will see you guys in a week for your July monthly spread. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.